Oh, hi, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you guys are having a blessed day, a victorious day. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Um, You know, <laughs> God is an amazing, amazing God. God will teach you. God will reach you. And God will install values that he's trying to install. Now, if you look at my title, go ahead, tag and share. Praise God. How you guys doing? My value, my time, my title is, yeah, it is value HTV, your high value target. But most of all, God was telling me, said, Deanna, most people don't work in a spirit of excellence. Now, hold on. We're not just talking about a job. Do you notice the service, even in customer service lately? I mean, people lazy. They look at you. How you doing? Welcome to whatever. Oh my God. Really? Hold on. Don't even smile. No smile. So we're not just talking about even in church. It'd be a little fake smile. <laughs> and when you are not genuine, people can pick it up just like that. Come on, somebody. I'm going somewhere. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. We have to go back to a spirit of excellence. That's one thing I can always say about Pastor Godot. And that's why I bring him up from time to time. Pastor Godot, Pastor Philip Godot, who actually I was under for a amount of time when I was in California. He installed in us integrity, honor. And even at that time, I didn't get it. I ain't going to lie. I didn't learn it until years later, but I appreciate him. That's why I talk about it. He was talking to, I don't care how talented you are, if you can preach, if you can teach, if you, if you don't walk in love, integrity, honor, do things with a spirit of excellence, not knowing that he was putting those values in my life, that that would be the foundation. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The foundation. The foundation of God is love, but there's also, he says, be fervent in business. What do you mean? Whatever you do, do it unto me. Whatever you do, I pray that you do it in the spirit of excellence, especially in the body of Christ. People have gotten lazy. That's why, that's why we don't well no more. Oh, come on, somebody. That's why we don't have shut-ins no more. Because guess what? You too busy. I got to be at the nail salon. I got to be at the hair salon. I got to be there. Everybody in a rush and going nowhere. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Walk with me. I heard God said, we got to go back to the basics. You know what the basics is? If you cut somebody off, excuse me. You know, hello, just simple courtesy, common courtesy, simple politeness. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Even in the body of Christ. Too many, I just got to say it. There's a spirit of laziness in the body of Christ. You don't pray like you should. You don't walk like you should. Yeah, God, God, God will tell you exactly in every area what you lacking and what you need to improve on. And hold on. Can I, can I testify? We all got some areas that we can improve. Even in the, even in the areas that we're good at. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going somewhere with this. I'm going somewhere with this. <laughs> One day I was to my daughter's house. I'm going to tell a little story. And I was like, this girl's something else. A, B, C, D. She wants it how she wants it. And then I had to realize, wait a minute. She get that from me. I got to have it this way. Meaning that, hold on. I'm not trying to be bodacious. Don't get it twisted. Act like I'm all that. But I want to do it right. And if it's not right, please don't, don't even come around me. Because guess what? We're going to have some problems. Well, that's what's happening in the body of Christ. That's, that's how God feels. You want blessings, but you don't want to pray. You don't want to pray for your brother and sister. You want blessings, but you won't pick up that brother or sister without some gas money. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm all down your area. Hallelujah. People didn't got to work. If you give me something, then I get something. What about just love, compassion, the same thing that God gave us and gives us? Come on, somebody, on a daily basis. Blessings, just waking you up this morning. Oh, come on, somebody. Some people can't walk. Some people can't talk. Some people did not get up. Hallelujah. The same amount of grace and mercy that God extends to you every day, that's the same thing we're supposed to be doing for our brothers and sisters. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And people will get mad at you for telling the truth, but I really don't care. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going somewhere. This is all tying in with the message. I was invited somewhere today, and I didn't find out about it till yesterday. It was called Georgia on your mind. And all, I mean, they had so much major play, players there, it wasn't even funny. And the favor of one woman. I went by and bring some spices at a store. And she was like, Chef Didi, I was just talking about you. And I knew that was God because I just walked in the door. 
And so I'm going somewhere. And God was saying, I'll give you a favor. But what are you doing? You see, you have to sow seeds and them seeds come back into your life. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If you oh, I feel the power of God. If you ain't getting what you want, then have you given God what he want? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, it's reaping, baby. It's sowing and reaping. Oh, I hear, I hear. God want me to go deeper. God want me to go deeper. It's a seed within a seed. Everything that you need is inside of you, just said the Lord. He said, everything that you need is inside of you. Y'all be running to prophets, apostles, everybody looking for a word, looking for a word. Look what, 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 what? Inside of you, God says. He said, but now the thing is, you got to tap it. But you can't tap it without me, me, me telling you what to do. He said, because I placed it in you. Come on, somebody. It's a seed within a seed. Come on, somebody. Everything you need is inside of you. But you got you to gotta tap on it. Oh, come on, somebody. Because God is going to unleash some things in this season that you have never, ever, ever dreamed of. Because he said, how I know that it's in you, I put it there. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But you're going to have to work for it. Oh, come on, somebody. You're going to have to open up some things. You're going to have to pray. You're going to have to fast. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You're going to have to do what you have never done. In order to get what you have never had before, you got to do what you ain't never did before. Yeah, I say ain't. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I hear you. Um, I don't know how to say your name. Koiki? I, I'm so sorry if I messed it up. Miss Williams, pray for us, Apostle. We just lost my friend to colon cancer. And then her mom died this morning. The Brown family. We will definitely be lifting you up. You know, um, and that's another thing. When people die, well, to be absent from the body, present with the I'm in pain. I'm in pain. And we all go through that. So I definitely will be lifting you up. All I can tell you is stay strong. Stay prayerful. Don't get angry. Because one thing about it, um, when people lose people, sometimes they even try to make intimate between the families and people. Try to get you mad. So just stay faithful. Stay faithful. But getting back to what I was saying, everything you got is inside of you. I mean, everything you need. The same thing. Yeah, I said it right. Everything you got is inside of you. You got to pull it out in this season. Oh, and it's going to cost you. Oh, but don't it cost you anyway? Come on, somebody. It's going to cost you. Let me tell you something. I'm not trying to glorify myself. I didn't finish working till 3 o'clock. Started cooking at 6 to be to this event today. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. At 9. So I'm just rolling. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. And uh, and while I'm rolling, I'm listening to Miles Monroe. That was one of my mentors. I love him. I'm, I'm listening to, you know, discipline. Oh, I'm going somewhere. In order to get what God have placed in you, and it's a lot. Oh, you're so much more than you think. I don't care what they say. I don't care what you say. You don't know who you are until you see what God see. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to see what God see. And in order to see what God see, you got to renew your mind, your mind, your body, your soul. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I guess I'm tying all this in to say, I know that a lot of you, Want to be prosperous, not just in money, just be prosperous, right? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. God said everything you need is inside of you. But that test, that trial, that stuff you're going through, he said, I'm doing it. Everything ain't the devil. He said, because I'm pushing you into your destiny. I know it hurt. I know you don't understand. I know people have left you. I know they lied on you. I know you don't understand. Hallelujah. I, I, I know you just want to give up some time and say, woo. But honey, the Bible says, if thy faint in the midst of adversity, thy strength is small. You remember when we were younger? I'm talking to the older ones now. And you had that tenacity to get what you had to get, how you get had what you had to get. Well, that same tenacity, but without worldly values, you know what I'm saying. You're going to need that same tenacity in order to go to that next level. You're going to have to, you're going to have to push, you're going to have to push through the pain, the fears, the lies, the mockery, whatever the case that the devil tries to bring you when you're trying to get where God wants you to go. You're going to have to push through that thing. I promise you so much didn't happen in the last two days. I don't have time to tell you about it now, but I will tell you about it. Um, and, and that's just the way I chose to go, but I will give you a prelude of it. <laughs> You can offer me $20 million. I have a standard. I can't be brought. Y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody. If that standard is not met, <laughs> I'm gone. And I don't care who you are. That's on a personal level, professional level, all the levels. 
God is a God of excellence. And if it, the standard, and that's what, that's what happened to the church. We stop having that standard. Ain't no arrogant, no, cause God don't rule like that. Ain't thinking you all that, but it's a standard. Hallelujah. And if that standard is not met, honey, it's the same thing Cain as Abel. God, Abel gave God what he wanted. Cain was just like, hmm, God, and God rejected it. But it is the same standard of today. Some of you just Cain spirit. While Abel working, wait a minute, he said he wanted like this. He said he wanted like that. And that's what you're going to have to decide. You're going to have a king spirit or Abel spirit. I said all that to say that. Hallelujah. Because some of you, you want the blessing, but you want to give a king. Uh-huh. You want to give a king substance. In order to get the blessings that God have prepared for you, you're going to have to be obedient, Abel. You're going to have to be obedient, Abel. You're going to have to be obedient, Abel. Hallelujah. And Abel is a spirit metaphor i'm not talking about just a man oh come on somebody hallelujah you ain't ready for me Whew. so god bless you god keep you i'm gonna get me some rest oh yes 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 sister girl is tired but um over the course of the last two days i've made i made some choices um i realize i, I just don't play i realize that god had put something inside of me it is such such a standard I can't get away from it, even if I want to. I just can't. And he holds me to it, and I will hold everybody that I come in contact to it. And I don't care. You leave, you leave, you go, you go, whatever, whatever. God bless you. Hallelujah. And I pray that the church come back to that standard. It's a standard. And, and if you lose the standard, you you lose everything that goes along with it. You lose the anointing. You lose the blessing. You lose the wisdom. You lose the discernment. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? You know how... Mama used to say, if you lay down with a dog, you're going to get fleas. You understand what I'm saying? You can't just do what you want to do. You can't just go where you want to go. You can't be like everybody else. God have chosen you for this such a time as this. You have to go to that next level. Some of you be trying to bypass it. I'm going to cut through here. You know how you still have shark because I'm going to cut through here. In the kingdom of God, there's no shark because you can't cut through nothing. I'm going to go through the tracks. I'm going to go through here. No, you, you can't do that. And too many people are trying to do that. You can't do it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All right, so God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life soldiers, for that is who we are. Uh, let's get it. God bless. Y'all have a good one. Bless one. Make it a bless one. You know, and, and I got to tell y'all what this young man told me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to. I met him yesterday. Um, As a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to do. Nope, I couldn't I couldn't say it huh? because it's a surprise, God. I'm learning. I said I'm learning. You can't tell everybody everything so quick, right? But it's it's some good news. But anyway, long story short, he said his mother told him, We settle for good. He said, Think about it. Say good morning, good evening, good day, good afternoon. He said, But God is trying to give us great. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That young brother kick some knowledge. So make it a great day. Make your life great. You be great in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now I'm going to say roll out soldiers. God bless.